Well, hello everyone. My name is Ashley James. I work for FOIR. Um, and uh, today we're going to go over uploading floor plans and how to design faster using inspirations. Um, so these are just some of the things that we've been going through. And all right, so your four steps to upload a floor plan in NEO. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, you know what? I jumped ahead. Hi everyone, again, really quick. <laughs> we have more structure to these now instead of me jumping around all over the place. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just go over our slide deck and just kind of go over the overview of what we'll be covering today. And then we're gonna jump into Neo and I'm gonna demonstrate everything. Uh, we'll save questions for um, at the end. If we have some time, if I've, if I've gotten through both topics, um, like quickly, then uh, we can just have like open forum and I'll answer any questions other than, you know, obviously it's great if you have these kind of questions about floor plans and inspirations, but if you don't, that's okay. We can talk about other things too. Um, I've got, um, sometimes I've got a couple of different team members on the call today. I've got Rohit and he is really great at answering questions. So feel free to um, uh, type your questions in the chat. He can answer a couple of those questions as we go, or we'll just hold off until the end and I can answer some more. So yeah, he's filling out some stuff too. So anyways, let me go ahead and get started. So the four steps for uploading a floor plan in Neo is you're going to uh, select an image file. A, uh, then you're going to crop your image, scale your image and trace your walls. So most of the time floor plans are gonna be kind of like in a PDF um, or another you know, type of document. So if anything, just do a quick screenshot of it and then it will save as a JPEG on your computer. Um, now it doesn't have to be the highest quality just as long as you can make out the walls <laughs> because you're gonna be recreating the walls in Neo. So you're good. So you can you know, directly uh, load the floor plan from your computer. And then I'll show you how to crop the image. So we wanna make sure that just the floor plan is, is in, the, in the box that we're gonna be cropping. Scaling the image, this is one of the coolest things about Neo because of the AI that's built into our platform. You only need one dimension and then the entire floor plan will scale. Everything that you pull from our catalog will be to scale. Um, it's really awesome. So it doesn't matter if it's, you know, an entire length of wall for your entire space or if it's a coat closet. You just need one dimension and you're good to go. You can also change this, the uh, unit of measure as well too. And then you're going to trace your walls. Trace directly over your image to ensure all wall dimensions are accurate. And then you can also edit everything. So you can edit the width of the wall. Sometimes there's like um, thicker walls in the exterior, thinner walls in the center. Um, so you can adjust those just by clicking on them. Um, the uh, default ceiling height is 10 feet, but you can adjust that as well. And then you can, you know, pull um, walls in and out. You can delete things however you want to do it. So super fun. Well, um, I'll come back to this for inspirations when we get there. All right, let me get out of this guy, get into Neo. Hello, Neo. I hope you guys are loving it as much as I do. I started using it last summer when I joined the company and I think I'm doing pretty good at it now. All right, so to upload a floor plan, this is a brand new project that I had opened up called Master Suite what I named it. Um, so what you're going to do here is you're going to go over to the top right and hit upload floor plan. And then you'll go through your documents or wherever you have it saved on your computer. I have one right here. That's a little JPG. Open this guy. And then this little pink box is what we want around the floor plan. So we want to make sure all of our walls are inside the floor plan. So I'm just zooming in and out with my mouse. Um, it's definitely a good thing to have your, like a mouse when you're uh, using Neo. Um, the little touchpad thing on a laptop isn't really good for it. You definitely want more movability. So I'm just gonna drag this box around. You wanna get it pretty close, make sure that it's 
pretty close on the wall, nice and tight. It's okay that, you know, the windows are open like that. Don't worry about that. And then you'll hit next. And now, actually, I keep meaning, Rahit, could you make a note? I want the design team to change the color of the bubbles because you can't see them. <laughs> That's always the number one complaint. They hide. They're hiding, but they're not hiding. They're right there. I promise you guys. Can you see them now? So they start right up here. But hopefully they'll be like bright pink or something, so you'll always be able to find them. But I keep forgetting. Every time I end up doing this, I forget. Anyways, back to it. So what you're going to do with these bubbles is you're going to take one, um, and put it on the left wall and then put the other one on the right wall. And I know from this wall to this wall is 14 feet. So I'm going to enter that right there. You can also change your unit of measure right here if you need to. Um, so, but yeah, you could take any of these dimensions. There was an exterior dimension too that showed you the entire length of the wall. So you could do any of those that you wanted to. And I'm gonna click done and that will load and there we go there it is so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I love using this little floor plan to start off for a bunch of uh, projects because it's really easy it's like a bunch of boxes um, and you can actually do this for like just about any floor plan but I like to start with the room tool so it gives you one big box and you're going to click it you're going to drag it Make sure that the inside wall is inside your box. There you go, and you click again. Whoops, I lost it. I think I, I overclicked. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. And you could do another right inside if you want to. This is great. Dun, 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 dun. And then you can take the wall tool and you can add on if you want to, or you could do it all just with the wall tool. I used to just use the wall tool. Um, so from here, you can edit your walls. So you click, I clicked on this guy, I highlighted him. So the thickness is at nine inches. So I can bring that down to six inches. Whoops, I did six feet. That would not be good. Zero foot, six inches. That would be a massively, okay, cool. There you go, that's a little bit better. And then you can always, um, drag this guy in if you want to, really small bathroom, do all that kind of stuff. If you decide you don't want to even work with your closet right now, you click that, hit delete. So there's a lot of, you know, fun things that you can do. Um, I talked about it in another webinar. Whenever you have a yellow thing pop up like that, it means that the walls aren't connecting. So what you have to do is you have to figure out why they're not connecting. So I fixed it. I think that when I deleted this space, it disconnected something, but that's okay. I'm just going to undo everything so I have a full space. Woo, there we go. Now also from here, um, working with these three different tools in 2D are really useful. You have floor plan mode, so that's gonna show any of the furniture that you drag and drop into the space. You have ceiling plan mode, which is great for when you do um, want to add some lighting. Here, I'll grab a piece of something. Let's do a quick, let's do this guy. So you can see, and you can see the dimensions of exactly where it's located in the space. So that's always useful. And then um, background plan mode is great if you want to actually drag that floor plan out. Or if you're like me and you can't remember where the windows we're located, you can just kind of nudge it up. So you're like, oh, there's the space. And then it's great to be able to use the ruler tool to be able to measure things out so that you know exactly like the widths and, and stuff like that if you don't have that info to start with. So that is all that. And then you can jump into 3D from here and just check your space. It's pretty cool. There you go. There's your floor plan. That is how to start from the beginning and upload a floor plan. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's a cool light, it's like purple. But anyways, so far, do we have any questions about uploading a floor plan? Or was that cut and dry pretty good? I don't think I see anything. So I think you guys, you guys are pros. You already know, you're like, Ashley, I already know how to do floor plans. We're good. <laughs> All right, so since floor plans are done, we're gonna move on to starting a project with inspirations. 
All right, so let me open this guy up. So five steps to using inspirations in Neo. This is a really, really cool thing that we have in Neo. We have a bunch of like, it's like our Neo Pinterest. Um, that's really fun. Uh, that gives you ideas of uh, what you can do with the space. Oh, how do I change the ceiling height? Hello. Yes, of course. Here, let's answer that real quick before we go into that. Because I'm moving through this nice and quick now. So let's go back into here and I will show you. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Open this guy. All right, so just to change the ceiling height, it's actually really easy. Just like I clicked on that wall, we're here. Just like I clicked on that wall to change, uh, you know, to adjust the size like the thickness of it, this is the height. So that is your ceiling height right there. So we actually have 12 feet in this space. You can bring it down to five feet, which is insane. You can't do that. Nobody can live in that. <laughs> it's 10 feet. And you don't see it immediately, immediately like in 2D. Uh, you would just, you would see it in 3D though. And as of right now, you can only change the ceiling heights to be all be the same height. You can't click on one and say, oh, well, that's going to be 12 feet. That's going to be 10 feet. You will eventually be able to do that, right, Rohit? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yay! So it's coming. How do you do an angled or pitch ceiling? If are um, Cheyenne, are you looking at doing an interior ceiling like that, or are you looking at exteriors? Okay, interior, no problem. So the way that we get in and do our ceilings is that you have to kind of. Either, unless, okay, there's two different ways you can do it. You can go into our catalog and choose a ceiling option that we already have. So we have a bunch of ceiling designs already built in. And the majority of them, I don't know why this isn't loading. Hold on, let me bring this down for a second. My image is freaking out. Sorry, guys. But anyways, the, uh, the different uh, ceiling designs that we already have. Um, why is this doing that? in the system, this is really weird. Uh, they have kind of a depth to them already, like a height. So you would just change like in 2D, you would go back to 2D and you would change the height. So this is 10 feet and let's say you're adding on another uh, two feet of your extra ceiling design. So if it's like um, a, a tray ceiling or something with beams that's already pre-built. So you're just going to want to make sure that you extend the height of this to allow for that, um, unless it brings it down more. And Okay, so it isn't a double wall um, that you're seeing. What this does is that you apply, you can apply textures to both the interior and the exterior. So you can see right here. So interior, red and glossy, and then exterior, we'll do whatever that is. Dun, da, da, da. So you see, it's not actually double wall. It's just the components of what you're allowed to apply to it texture wise. Cool. That's a crazy looking wall, right? Shian, I've, I've shared a video in the chat section. If you're looking for slanted ceilings, that might help you. Please have a look at it. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why my, my Neo just decided that it wants to be difficult, but that's okay. She's tired. We've been building out a lot of stuff lately. Here, let's see if, if this will open again. Nope. I don't know why that's happening. I'm so sorry, guys. That's weird. It could just be this project. Maybe it's this project. It doesn't like the red, orange, glossy wall. But anyways, yeah. So if you're adding on an extra two feet of a ceiling design, you're going to want to add two feet to your actual walls. So then it actually like shows correctly. So um, and we can always like, if, if you're an interior designer, we can always set up a, a private time to go over a tutorial, like 30 minute tutorial or something. You can email me at ashley at foyer.com and we can set that up. It's super fun. 
All right, so now we can take care of inspirations. These are super fun. So five steps to using inspirations in Neo. You are going to create a new project. Okay, there's, there's a, multi, a couple multiple ways, but anyways, create new project, choose your new inspiration, choose your floor texture, take your render, and then you can make more changes and take multiple, multiple renders. This is a great option for if you want to see, like if it's for your personal use, um, multiple you know, options for the same space when it comes to materials and, and you know, placement of furniture and, and whatever. Um, or if, again, if you're working with a, a client and they wanna see you know, three different kitchen finish options, then this is great for that. Or bathrooms, whatever you know, works for you. So that's a great option too. So you can create a new project. I'll walk us through this as well. And uh, you can start with an inspiration in Neo. It's super quick to do it that way. Or you can add an inspiration to an existing project. So you have two different ways you can do it. Uh, we have a ton of different inspirations. Like, honestly, they keep adding more. The design team is amazing. So you'll have a lot of fun just like browsing through them. Um, the floor never seems to uh, transfer over with a uh, inspiration. I think it's just because it's applying the whole project over. But what's great about that is then you can either go back into the inspiration and add the texture from the product list, or you can choose your own, which I think most people like to choose their own. And then you can take a quick render of that and then you can change out things if you want to. It's really, really easy. And then we'll go back to that. All right, so let's go into Neo and play with inspirations. And some of these are kind of sticky. A lot of these, we just loaded up a ton of new inspirations to our catalog. So um, if you do happen to find one, Sabine, that <laughs> is a bit glitchy, please let the chat know. Just like go to our little live chat right down here and uh, let the team know which one is giving you a problem. And that goes for anything in Neo. If you have a problem with something, please let us know. You know we have the chat available Monday through Friday. Um, there's a bunch of help stuff over here. You can email connect at uh, foyer.com. So if you do have any you know, issues, we're here, we can help you. So this was, a project that I had just started for inspirations that I actually did for this quick little webinar that I just recorded. So I thought I'd just open this. So imagine that you've just opened a brand new project. You named it, whatever you want to call it. Here, let me erase this. Proceed. So you've got a blank canvas. When you have a blank canvas, you come over here to the left side and you click on inspirations. And then you can just go through the inspirations and have fun. <laughs> so we have a ton of different styles. Um, there are so many to look, to like look for. Um, if you wanna narrow it down to a certain space, like a bedroom, um, there are a bunch of really cute different spaces in here. I'm actually gonna go with this guy, click on him or her or they pinkish. It's very cute and happy. So also working with inspirations, you have a couple options of ways you can use them. If you just like the stuff that's in here, but you already have a space planned or um, you've already uploaded your floor plan and you just want to pick out the stuff, this is the product list of the majority of the things that are in this image. So you can click on the things that you want and add them to your project. They'll get saved to your short list or you can choose all of them and add them to your project. They'll get saved to your short list. But if you want to add this entire space, the whole room with dimensions and everything, you are just going to click on add inspiration to project. And that is going to load. And this is kind of a more simple space. The more um, intricate the spaces are, the longer they, you know, just a little bit longer to load. Um, this guy will be here in a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Up, we can take a look at what was done. So you see we have the default floor already in. So what we're going to do is going to choose our own floor. 
Hemant, I'll, I'll answer that for you when we're done with this, I promise. <laughs> All right, ooh, I like that bed. Oh, that's like a separate piece that, okay, cool guys. I love my design team, they make the most amazing things. All right, let me zoom in. All righty. Now, for some reason, the paint color on the wall didn't load, but that's okay. Because we can make our own changes. Let me see if I saved anything. All right, so we have a couple different textures. So why don't we take a look at some flooring textures? I want some wood floors. I'm going to add these in here. Click, drag, and drop. And then I'm going to scale. I'm hitting my shift button. And I'm clicking on the floor. It's now highlighted. Then I'm going to click edit. And then I'm going to change the scale. I'm going to do four by four with this one. And then I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees. There you go. I like that. That looks happy. All right, let's put some color on the walls. I want some color. Actually, let's go back to 2D. I'm going to see if I can pull that color wall. Uh, bed. That's right, Cheyenne. I'm using a the, the floor plan that was built in the inspiration. So when you're looking at this, you don't see the floor plan when you're looking at an inspiration. It's usually just what you see. It's usually just a box of that space that created that image. Um, oh, they didn't save the color for the wall. That's okay. Um, but I. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can apply it to your floor plan, which I can show you in a second too, once we're done with this. All right. Let's add, let me look at pinks. I want a pretty pink wall color. Let's do this one, it's kind of peachy pink. Oh, I should have done this for Valentine's Day. Come on, there we go. Dun, da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. And then we're gonna go to render. There we go. And there's my space. And I can do a quick render of that. Which I know this isn't the same color, but I will show you the rendered image of that inspiration that I took. So you can see that's not the same color, but that's what the space looks like when it's rendered in 4K. And then we can jump back to 3D. And the next thing you could do is change everything. So just like I added like the floor and the wall, like you can still add other things to this. You can delete things if you want to. Like I'm gonna make everything blue now. The blue is fun. That's like a blue fabric. That's okay. I love using this white weaved fabric. I don't know if you guys like to use a lot of neutrals in your designs, but it just comes out really nicely in um, in the uh, in renders. Oops, there we go. Come on, guys. All right, this guy's loading. He's having issues. There we go. Or you can delete this. You just select what you want to delete. Delete. He's gone. So anyways, you can make a lot of changes. It's really, really easy. You can even, you know, pull things out of it. You can rearrange. I had redone the whole space in a blue and this is like the final result. So, oh, what did I do with that? Let me pull up that image for you so you can see that really quick. Here we go. Do, do, do. So you can see it's the same. Oh yeah, so it's the same uh, view. So what I did is when I went into render, uh, you click up here on views. And what I had done is with that first one, with the pink one, I had saved that view. So you just toggle over this and then you click save as view and you can save it. 
And then when you keep going back to do kind of like a compare and contrast, like that's really great because you just select that view, it automatically goes to that image um, that you want to create. And so you can see like, you know, two different looks, which is really fun. So quick and easy, great for comparing. All right. And I think that was all with inspirations and stuff. Uh, so I guess let me go back to Cheyenne, your question about, uh, what's it called? About taking the inspiration and possibly putting it in a floor plan. This is something with Sabine who's on the call today. Uh, we were playing with, cause it is kind of a time saver to, to pull an inspiration into a floor plan. Now, it's not exact, but you can make it happen. And I'm gonna show you how. So I'm in 2D right now. I uploaded that floor plan and I'm gonna go into inspirations. I'm gonna find that same inspiration we just pulled, the pink one. And I'm going to hit add inspiration to project. And then once that loads, I'll try and see if it'll load right there. The thing is, is that you can't adjust like, yeah, so you can't adjust like how the inspiration drops in. So then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to like move everything. But that's okay. We can do a little. Oh, uh, let's do 90 degrees. There we go. So that was nice and easy. Wow, with that red ball. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. Come on, internet, you're fine. But anyways, that's a quick, like easy way to do kind of like the inspiration. I mean, to be honest, I think the most effective way to use an inspiration, like with a floor plan you already have, is just to choose the inspiration. And then, um, here, let's go on it. Said this one instead of adding it to your project of the floor plan that's already there because you may end up adding extra walls and fixtures and stuff you didn't mean to and then it's just crazy i uh, honestly just add the products if you're obsessed with everything in here you know but you not you're not crazy about that mirror the only thing you don't want is the mirror just uncheck the mirror and then add it to the project all of that is going to show up in your short list right here See, and it just, it, it's just a little extra time saver. You can always delete things from here if you don't need them or you don't want them or whatever. So that's another great way. And then remember, just click, drag and drop into the space. Okay. Let me look back at these questions. <laughs> I don't know if you were answered, Christina, but yes, this is always recorded and you'll get this emailed. Um, Denitra, the reason why the walls like looked um, gridded like that was because the color, like the texture didn't for some reason load, but uh, the, the, um, the cloud was still, like Neo was still telling, uh, the cloud was telling Neo that there was supposed to be something there. So it's almost like it was pixelated. So the image was supposed to be there, um, but it, it didn't. And that's okay, like, because you can still apply to it. You can still, like, fix it, but it just didn't load. When I used this before in this pocket webinar I created, it's like two minutes of using that actual, like, pink bedroom. It didn't, it didn't have that problem. I don't know if maybe it's just because I'm doing an online webinar and maybe that's why it was pulling too much of my internet connection. My husband is also working from home right now, so that might be part of it. But um, anyway, so there's that. And we got the video. Dun, 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 dun. And I probably have to get VJ tile cuts on your favorite platform so I'm going to get those tiles trim for other 3D formats. Okay, so you're, so Teddy, are you talking about um, uh, 3D model uploads? Because that is a new feature that we have and we do use OBJ files. Those are the files that we like that are, that Neo likes. I actually have a couple right here. 
So if that's something that you're interested in, if you have, you know, the capability of building out your own models, um, they do need to be OBJ files, right, Rohit? There's no other file type that we take for models. No, oh, just the OBJ file. Steady, I've uh, shared a video link with you, a uh, reference video. You can check it out. If you, oh, um, yeah, if you it, have an OBJ file with you, you can upload it on Neo. Is that my pocket webinar? Um, yeah, it's the base for your pocket webinar, yes. Okay, cool. Without the <laughs> I did a little pocket webinar on that too, which is really fun. But, right. um, <laughs> but yeah, it's really simple. You just upload it just like you did uh, the, your floor plan as long as it's an OBJ file. And then I've got a couple that the team like gave me. You can save it. These are both base styles with textures. You can save it with whatever texture you apply to it. You can still edit anything that you add to Neo, just like you would with any piece in, in our catalog. You can, you'll get all of this just like, you know, you would with others. So that's pretty cool too. And now, how did you preview the render without using a render credit? Oh, I had already, sorry, uh, Tanya, I had already uh, taken that rendered image. I just wanted y'all to see what it looks like when it was finished. So you cannot actually preview the render until you've actually take, taken the render. Like, you know, the complete, complete, the most like uh, preview that you're going to get is just when you're in render mode, but it's still kind of cartoony. It's not like the exact you know, image. Oh my God, I really have to do something about that red wall, guys. That's scaring me. I know it's scaring you. Let's just put blue on it or something. <laughs> Here, we'll just do that. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, that makes me feel better. Okay, good. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, these adjustments. Okay, good, good, good. I think I got everyone's questions. All right. And let me actually, Tanya, let me talk about renders for a second, because um, I think it's only fair for y'all to understand like how like the render um, credits are and stuff and just the reason for it. So an HD render is one credit. And let me show you this. Oh, wait, hold on, I wanna show you this photo. I'm going to make this small. I have a point that I want to show you guys. All right. So an HD render is one credit. And a 2K or a 4K render is three credits. For each time you hit that button submit, it's going to cost you three render credits. This is a 4K rendering. Now, the reason why it's called 4K is because it's 4,000 pixels. That's really, really good. So all those little like tiny little dots that make it really high quality, really great depth. You can stretch this photo out very far. You can make it very small and it's not going to lose quality. It's really great for creating for um, printable content, uh, for um, online portfolios. It's beautiful. It is super high. Like when you get married and the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the photographer gives you two different qualities of sets of photos digitally. Some of them are, are meant for being online and then some of them are meant to be printed out. So you, you have different quality of, of image. That, that's the amount of pixels in it. So 4K is for the highest it can go. 2K is also still very high. HD is just basic. It's about a thousand pixels. It's, I, I was like, I, but it all depends like how you cropped the image when you hit render and stuff like that. I'll tell you, this image is exactly how you would look at if it was HD as well. So if you wanted to just do like a quick image of it, you can just do the HD, get one render credit, and you're going to have this really pretty image. But if you want it to be part of your portfolio, a final um, production for a client, um, anything that you would want to print out, you're going to want 2K or 4K. So call HD your preview. It's pretty good, but not if you want to use it for anything other than just looking at it like this. So that's just a little Neo extra that you should know about with renders. So 
but 4K is the best. Also, if you do 4K, it has the fastest settings. If you do HD or 2K, they'll be set to lower settings, so it'll just take longer to render, which is like maybe 15 or 20 minutes, which honestly isn't that long, but 4K is like six minutes. So stick with 4K for time and for higher quality. All right. Are there any other questions you guys have while we're here? I guess we could play with um, ceilings a little bit for Cheyenne. Are you still here? Yeah, I see you're still here. I think that would be fun. Let me see if I can get ceilings to pop up. Let's go into 3D. Actually, let's go into 2D, okay. And ceiling. I'm going to do it this way since my full catalog wasn't working very well. Are you able to change materials on the furniture objects in the environment? Um, you mean the different materials for like the bed, for instance, like instead of having a wood bed, having like a metal bed? Is that what you mean, Teddy? Maybe. Let's. Yes, yes, you can. And I will show that to you in a second. Ooh, let's add this one. This is cool. Oh, we need to be in ceiling plan mode. Haha, <laughs> see, Neo just told me go to ceiling plan mode. Here, let's just do this real quick and then we'll drop into that. Hold on, catalog, ceiling. Where'd you go? I like that ceiling. Look cool. Yeah, let's do this one. See, this is a fair point too, guys. Hit the heart. Whenever you find something that's exciting, even if you're not going to use it right away, just add it to your short list as quickly as possible. <laughs> that way you don't lose it like I did. There we go. And then you can resize. You can resize in 2D. You can resize in 3D. This one has like an open wall on one side, but that's okay. I just want to see what this looks like. We'll go to 3D. Oh, cool, look at that. So anyways, this one isn't like the perfect example of what I was talking about, Cheyenne, if it had like a drop ceiling and then like a pitch or something like that, or if it was a tray. Um, but this does add some, you know, length from the, from the ceiling. So if you wanna make sure that, you know, this bottom point of the beam is at 10 feet, you would just need to adjust. And so, you can just hit edit properties and find out what the height is and that's six inches. So you would just add six inches to your wall to make sure that your wall height is correct. So that's how you do that. That's fun. I like that beam one. All right. So let's, let's change the textures of the bed. So just like, you know, changing the colors on the wall or the floor, you can change everything with the bed as well. And our team has been doing an incredible job with changing up different textures that we have available. So textures are just here on the left on uh, your catalog. You can just search for something specific if you want to, like white paint, white fabric, you know, uh, white metal material. We even have like an ice material, which is kind of cool. Um, glow in the dark, light emanating materials. There's, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, we also have things that are just set up by different categories. So we can go to wood and everything is a drag and drop. So I know that that's tufted, but let's just three. I don't think that's showing at all. Eh. No, I think the way that the, the, the <laughs> I try to apply, apply a wood texture to the fabric. I'd say probably, oh, you can kind of see it. There we go. I'd say probably best use for this is if you're going to change like the color of a wood, make sure it's like a wood, um, you know, a wood bed, not a fabric bed that you're trying to apply a wood like thing to. But you can see that's kind of cool. There's that. But yeah, you can do all that. So the bottom is like um, just like a basic metal. Let's change that out to <sighs> like a rose gold or how about let's do copper. 
I like this brushed copper because it kind of comes out as like a rose gold. That's kind of fun, right? I am just all about the pinks today. There we go. Pretty cool, right? I think that's pretty neat. All right, so yeah, so you can change. You can even change the pillows, like every bit of this. This is actually, let me see. Oh yeah, that's just like a blanket, goodbye blanket that um, was added on. So when you pull like this, so this is one whole piece, this little blanket with like the sheet, you know, and the bed and the pillows, this is all one piece. What was on there was this extra piece of this blanket and that was added on by the design team who made the inspiration. And so that's just gonna be in staging under textiles and rugs category. And then you can go under like, um, yeah, blankets and pillows and stuff like that. And you can find those things and then you can edit them. So if they don't fit right, you can always adjust them so that they do fit right. You can make like a super messy bed or super tight bed, whatever works for the space. So it's kind of fun. Let me go. All right, Cheyenne. Okay, I think you got it. Multi use room with a pitch ceiling as a loft space. Oh, I love loft spaces. Rohit, don't I love lofts? I love creating second levels. I love it. I'm the master. Oh, yeah. I'm the, he's yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. We can share the video. We already have so many videos on this. Um, okay. We can share the links with you if you want. Yeah. It's so fun. So basically, shapes is where you want to be at. So under building, like honestly, all of y'all, just play with your shapes. You're going to go under building in your catalog. You're going to go to shapes. And then anything, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know why my catalog's not loading. It's acting. It might be these projects. I'm not sure. But you're going to look for anything that's docked to like the wall, the floor, the ceiling. Um, there's different types of shapes. I typically work with the cubes. So like ceiling docked cubed, wall docked cubed, floor docked cubed. And um, there's two different ones. There's like one with uh, green and blue and black on all the different like sides of the cube. You can change the color on each wall. Um, and then there's like a solid like cube as well that you can um, change the entire color. So if you wanted to create like a second level like loft in here, you would just attach a wall docked cube and then resize it to make it look like, you know, your second level. You can add stairs to it. You can add flooring to the, you know, texture on top and just keep stacking different shapes. It's so cool, guys. You can just totally just be so inspired by any of the designs you want to create because you can actually build it in here. So it's really, really fun. You're going to love it. And that's one of my favorite things to do. It's like, wow, I made another level. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> um, Alexia, did you have a question? I think you raised your hand. Good. Rohit keeps, um, guys, any of like the YouTube videos that he's posting in the chat, please click on them now. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we have a ton of content coming out now. So it's super, super fun. Lots of different things that you can do with Neo now that you couldn't do before. And I'm just going to have fun with this space until you guys ask me another question. Because I want this to look cool. I'm going to go to my catalog. I'm going to find a window. Actually, you know what? Because it's acting crazy. I'm just going to do a search. Window. There's so many windows now, too. And you can adjust and remember guys, if there isn't a something in our catalog that you need and you aren't going to build it or go find it, you can have us make it for you. So if there's something you know you're gonna be using like a lot, just let us know and we'll take care of you because we want you using Neo all the time because Neo is awesome. I think it's awesome. Oh, these are kind of cool. Let's do one of these. And is already. Yay, of course you do. Denitra, okay, y'all, Denitra is serious. You need to follow her on everything. She is one of our 
amazing neopreneurs is what we were calling her and the few other people who started with us way back when <laughs> it really wasn't way back when but she has she has seen all the different sides of neo and uh she's just saying that that she uh subscribes to the videos and stuff because she's awesome and you should see like some of the designs she's making are seriously amazing and uh it's because she keeps learning how to do cool things in neo dun, 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 dun. that's kind of fun right oh here's another fun thing about in our textures if you just search sw and then like whatever color you like that's sherwin williams Sherwood Williams, we have, I think, just about their entire paint catalog, which is really great if you have all those little paint chips. Uh, what's your 2D question? Comment. Comment. We have a question now in 2D. Right, we can jump back to 2D. Well, let me just add this to the wall because. I like adding colors, placing windows and doors. All right, let's go to 2D. Okay. Uh, measurements, okay. So are you talking about looking at the floor plan to understand the measurements or you already have the measurements for the windows and doors? You have them, perfect. So if you're in 2D and you've placed, so here's, here's one of my windows, you're going to click on it, hit edit, and then you can adjust all of the measurements right there. Or you can do it in 3D. So here in 2D, the width, I'm gonna change that to five feet. Length will stay the same. Uh, I'll change that to seven feet high, why not? And then this is also quick raise from the floor. You can adjust that right there too. You can flip it horizontal or vertical, which is great because sometimes a window has like a hook or something on it and you want that to be uh, facing inward or outward. So you can, uh, you know, adjust that as well. Let's jump into 3D and I'm gonna click on it. There we go. So I can move it or I could hit resize, which makes it almost like a cube. So from here you can see, you can either move it and change the, you know, the height or you can click on it again and you can type it in. Whatever works for you. So if you already have those, oh yeah, it's really great when you have all those great sill and lintel links and widths and all that kind of fun stuff. Why does it tell the distance from the center of the wall? We need to know the distance from the inner wall. In the center of the wall. Is that from the uh, center? Rohit, do you know how to answer that one? Yeah. Um, Heyman, so uh, you're right. The, the measurements that are shown over there are uh, center to center. If you want to measure, like, I I'm not understanding if you're, uh, maybe I'm wrong in uh, understanding your question, but if you want to measure a particular Distance, you can do it with the ruler option. Ashley, do you mind showing? Uh, him yeah, here's, here's your ruler on the left toolbar. So you can click on it and pull out. And the ruler's only in 2D. Yeah, you can measure uh, the exact area that you want to measure with the ruler. But um, in, in case I've not addressed what you're actually trying to uh, ask us, just reach out to us on the live chat support and uh, we'll get on a one-on-one -on -one call with you and solve your issue. And since you mentioned doors, let's find a door. I need a door. Those are good questions. I'm glad that you asked that. Those are um, more from like, Neo 101 from like the first step of learning about all the things about Neo, um, which you'll definitely find videos and, and more information about that on our YouTube page. So definitely check that out. Um, there, we have some longer ones on there, but we also quick like less than five minute videos that'll just walk you through step by step all the basics. 
Um, and that'll definitely help you with those as, as well, just to get, get you going. Um, but yeah, I didn't know about the center wall thing. So I'm glad you pointed that out because I'm learning. I'm learning things every day. All right, here's like a, a little, here we go. I'm gonna stick this door right here. And again, you can click on the door, you hit edit, and then you can adjust the size of it. You can flip it. Uh, the horizontal flip is so that you can, you know, mark which way the door opens where the doorknob is. So that's really useful. So we want to make sure that the door is going that way and not that way. <laughs> and oh, that's kind of fun. All right. Oh, Denise, I didn't know that. I'm glad to use the Sherwin-Williams paint deck. I've got a Sherwin-Williams right by my house, so that's why I'm, I was really excited that we were going to be using Sherwin-Williams as like the main brand of paints in our um, in our catalog. So I guess like before I finish this up, if you guys have any other questions, let me just uh, talking about paints. That's kind of fun. Um, why don't I just do a quick little show you on how to do. Uh, a quick texture for a wall. So, are you guys still there? Did I lose you? No, we're still there. Do we have any questions? No. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so let's say that I, I'm not finding the color that I need, or there's a very specific color and I want to make sure it's absolutely correct from, you know, the brand or whatever. Uh, what you can do is, I'm just going to look up Sherwin-Williams because why not uh, color so go to the manufacturer's website they're gonna have the best options for colors um, like higher quality images and stuff and anytime that you save a texture um, as an image uh, file make sure it's as high as quality as possible especially if there's any sort of um, uh, like a uh, like design or something in it. If it's just like a solid color, you're good. So let's choose this one, gray screen. That's a cool number. We do have this in the catalog, but here we go. Hi, Rohit. I lost you. Don't leave me. <laughs> I have a issue. I'm back now. <laughs> it's okay. I like to drive him crazy. All right. So what I'm going to do right here is object. So you see I selected the rug, it, it shows that it's uh, highlighted. I select the floor, it's not, it's not working, right? So I am going to zoom in on this wall and I'm going to hit the shift button on my keyboard. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to click the wall and it highlights. Let me make that bigger for you. Now it's pink. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to change this wall. So any of the textures that I have uploaded are going to pop up here, but I haven't uploaded any in this project yet. So I'm going to upload a new texture. And this is like the same if you want to apply someone's photo to a picture frame or your branding to a wall, or you're trying to impress a big client and you want their branding on the wall. Like there's a lot of really cool things you can use this feature for other than just textures. So there's my color and I am going to click, drag and drop that over. Boom. So that is that color that we just pulled from Sherwin-Williams, which is kind of cool. Or, you know, if you're a Benjamin Moore person or any other like brand of paint, um, you can also apply different uh, wallpapers and things that you find. You just have to make sure again, that's the higher quality. You have to scale it correctly. So if you want to scale it, you just have to, you know, shift, click, edit, and then you can adjust the scale of it and the rotation and all that kind of stuff to get it as close as possible. But that's how you apply a texture. And you can apply that to the floor. You could apply that to any of, you know, the furniture, any of the pieces in here, the ceiling, it doesn't matter. You guys can have fun. All right. So that's about it. We're out of time. If you guys have any questions, 
Um, you can always email us. You can uh, reach out to the chat Monday through Friday, um, or you could just do connect at foyer.com. We love having you as part of our family. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, and honestly, all the feedback that you guys give us is, uh, is honestly like what makes us so good. Like we keep getting better and better and better and it's because of y'all, because of your feedback. A lot of the things that we can do now is because you guys have said, hey, I want to be able to upload 3D models. And now we gave you uploading 3D models. We, you want more um, ability to, to render with different like functions and stuff. And we gave you more, we gave you like auto stun and stuff like that. So it's really, really fun. We're gonna keep developing. We have a whole bunch of more features that are gonna be showing up in the next couple of months. You'll be getting more info about. I'll definitely be doing a webinar. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate your time. We really appreciate you. And this will be sent out to you, I think in a link so that you can see it. And uh, we love you. Stay safe, wash your hands. I hope you're all safe and dealing with not having daycare like me. <laughs> He's napping right now, so we're good. But anyways, take care guys. Thank you so much.